Hello. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a good day. Today's video, random apps to download when you're bored. Because let me guess the boredom is setting in from staying at home for such a long time. Or maybe the boredom for you started on day number two. I'm basically separating this video into two categories. The first category being actual productivity apps. And the second category is games and childhood games, essentially. So if you came to this video not looking for anything serious at all, skip to here. That's when the fun apps come in. But let's start out with the more boring apps. No offense to anyone. So the first app to download when you're bored is Google Calendar. You may have heard of this before. You can literally plan out your whole life on Google Calendars. This is what I do at the hairdressers, you know, when you sit at the hairdressers for three hours, if you get your hair like colored or anything, all I do is just play on Google Calendars for four hours. But this is cool because you can create goals and reminders and an event. Then you can also plan out your daily schedule by hour. You could also see three days in advance, a week in advance. For me, me, it's just really fun when I'm bored to play with the calendar. I, I, it might just be a me thing though. So another app that I know we all have is the Photos app. And you might just be like, what? What, why, why are you talking about this? And the reason why I'm talking about this is go into your photos app when you're bored and delete all of those random photos you may have accidentally took of the ground or of a classroom board. Just go through your photos and clear up storage space. So I'm doing this right now and I'm about halfway through my photos album and I've deleted like 3,000 pictures already. Next one is Duolingo, and you've probably heard of this, but I've really been using this app a lot to practice my Spanish. Because I'm going to college next year, I have to take a language placement exam, and I've taken Spanish for five years, but I didn't take it this year, and I need to practice my Spanish, so when I take that placement exam, I don't have to start from the beginning. So Duolingo, not sponsored, is very helpful, except it's really annoying because they constantly send me emails. For instance, And no, this is not sponsored. This is actually how I heard about Skillshare. It was through other YouTubers' sponsorships. After hearing YouTubers talk about it, I was like, I'm going to check this out. And I really like it because through it, you can take so many creative classes. Like right now, I'm really focusing on like social media marketing classes through Skillshare. And I think it's really cool that these resources are here. You can learn all types of things on here. Photography, graphic design, movie editing, painting, maybe watch a Skillshare class on how to paint and don't watch my videos on how to paint because I'm not a painting teacher But everyone on here is Theoretically and you just don't watch my videos about painting, but I've totally gone sidetracked So this next app well, it's not exactly Productive. It's a good thing to do when you have been focusing for a long time and you just need to take a quick little break and that is this app called ASMR slicing basically what you do is you just cut sand. I'll just show you. And it's just so satisfying. Another good thing to do when you need to take a break from studying for a hot second is sandbox and this is basically like color by number. It's just really relaxing. I don't know how else to explain it. Basically... And now the fun part of the video, the part of the video that we've all been waiting for is the games, the apps that when you finally are done playing them after four hours, you're just like, why did I waste all my time playing this game? Here are some of those games. 
Um, basically, I don't even know how to explain this game, but I bet a lot of you played it. I'm just gonna go with my character looking like this. I literally play this so much in elementary school. I actually bought a Pop Tropica book in Washington, D.C. In this game, you just solve these different islands using your clues, aka looking on the internet to figure out how to solve the islands because they were always too hard for me. Let's go into the pet barn. I wonder what could be in there. Ooh, pets. Aww. I want a rabbit. I want the pink rabbit. You need to be a member to take a bunny? Okay, well that's so rude. We're not playing this because I don't want to pay to be a member. Next game. This game I would play on cool math games for kids all the time and that is Fire Boy and Water Girl. Basically what you do is you have to work together to get the Fire Boy character and the Water Girl character through the door. I don't know, it's kind of pointless but it's also kind of fun and I wasn't very good at it. And fire can only touch fire and water can only touch water. And I failed on the first level. It's fine. Next, any of these following games. There was a distinct point in my life where I was addicted to all of those racing games. I, mm, I don't know. Couldn't tell you why. And here are some more childhood games that I liked that you can play. Episode. That game, oh my gosh. It's like TV mixed with reading. It's so fun. Literally, I've spent days at a time playing Episode. Also similar to Episode is Bit Life. It's kind of like choose your own adventure, but less, but more, but not really at all. Just go download it. And then Trivia Crack. Spruce up on your knowledge of geography and history and pop culture and everything else. Oh, Candy Crush. Go play Candy Crush. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, random apps to download when you're bored. And obviously, I'm not going to say, like, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. Because that's uncreative. Not saying this was creative, but it's slightly more creative than just saying Instagram and TikTok. But thanks so much for watching. Comment down below your favorite app or whatever you want. Comment down anything. Subscribe to my channel. Turn the notification bell on. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Adios.